Hey everybody, it's Talk To Me Tuesday. I have no idea what number it is and it is the 24th of May. Um, I have finally, finally, after 18 months, finished my uh, Project of Doom quilt. Um, and I will put photos in of it because it's, um, it's big and I can't lift it and show you it all properly. So I took some photos. If you've been on the Fandom and Stitches group, you will probably have already seen them. Um, I'm so, so chuffed to have finished and have this wonderful quilt on my bed. Um, I didn't do lots of extras. I know a lot of people on the group have done broomsticks and norberts and all sorts of things on it. I just wanted the original kind of style quilt in a bookcase. Um, and that is now on my bed looking fantastic and um, I'm very, very pleased with it. So I will put some photos in, hopefully once I've figured out how to do that, in at the end so you can have a look at that if you want to, but if you've been on the Facebook group you'll have seen it anyway. Um, and aside from that, the only other thing to show you is that I went to a quilt show at the weekend. We don't have many in this country, we have um, a couple a year, um, one of which is um, a huge festival of quilts, it's an international festival of quilts. The one I went to on Saturday was more of a um, there was a few quilts there that they were showing but mostly it's just shopping um, and it's mostly fabric and so I bought quite a lot of things um, that I'm going to show you as quickly as I can because I know you don't want to sit in here see look this is all my fabric thank goodness so I bought um, these off cuts um, of a bolt and they're just a green uh, batik they're very similar fabrics um, and they were I think they were like £1.50 which is about two dollars um maybe just over two dollars they were just the end of the bolt and i just picked them up because they'll do for skies and backgrounds and things we bought this fantastic pebbles fabric and a very nice sky because i have a nighttime sky and not a daytime one another boutique that's got fishes on it and then this came in a bundle which I'm going to use to do something for my daughter. What it will be I don't know. But I've got this pretty girly dresses. And then there's um, ballet slippers, pink hearts, the same girly dresses but in white. Ballet slippers in pink and then really cute castles. So I've got those and then I picked myself up some Moda I think they're Moda, they might not be, they might be spray time, I don't know if that's Moda or not, um, but just some of the brights, so just got some green, blue, um, orange, yellow and red, uh, it's just the basic spray time things, and then I fell in love with this fabric, I'm obsessed with this company over here called Santoro, um, it's a UK based company and they make um, this girl is she's called the gorgeous girl and they do all sorts of things with her on them I've got various bits mostly um, paper crafting so it's this kind of style girl that they do and I just absolutely love her I've always loved it I'm obsessed with it when I was at the quilt show I found that they do fabric so I bought this fabric panel which has just got this really cute girl on it and uh, in various formats mostly painting rainbows and riding on horses or unicorns as my daughter likes to say even though they're not unicorns all horses are unicorns to Hannah um, and then I got this one which kind of just goes with that another backgroundy one that goes and then this gorgeous just repeat of the girl on the horse so no idea what I'm going to do with those yet, but um, they will become something for me probably and for my daughter. Not to leave my son out, I saw this fantastic fabric, it's red and it has Batman on it. Um, all over Batman print. Um, my son is Batman obsessed and I want to make him a new quilt this year so and he's asked for a Batman one so I shall probably use that for a centre panel. 
Um, and then the only other thing I bought, which is um, not quilting but definitely fabric related, is that um, a couple of weekends ago we went to Warwick Castle, which is a big medieval castle here. Um, it's, it's only about an hour up the road from where I am, and we had a day there and it's it's a fantastic place there's lots of period costumes and dress and and they do lots of shows with the period costumes and the kids wanted outfits um but they were so expensive and i wasn't going to pay um, the money they were asking for them for something that was going to fall apart in five minutes so i actually got myself this pattern which um, i'm going to make my son that kind of one and my daughter princesses so when I was at the quilt show they had a guy selling fabric and he was selling this um, I don't know if you can see that but it's a it's not as thick as it kind of looks like it's going to be it's actually quite thin um, but not too thin and it's just got this damask type I don't know what you call that pattern on it but I thought it would be perfect for Hannah's uh, medieval princess dress and I also picked up some silver ribbon to go around it and some of this blue with gold and silver gold and blue trim and that was it really that was everything I bought um, so yeah I hopefully I'll be able to put some photos in at the end of this video and I will see you all next week I hope you all have a lovely crafty week now I have finished my project of doom I can move on to uh, finishing lots of other things hopefully so see you all next week bye